Imagine walking down a street and then not remembering the street you're on, then forgetting where you're going, where you were coming from, and whatever you're going to do, followed by a sense of disorientation and confusion, only for this all to be gone within a few hours. Now, if this has actually happened to you, you may want to go see a doctor, but you also may have suffered from something known as transient global amnesia. TGA is a neurological disorder characterized by the sudden onset of dense anterograde amnesia, which lasts for an average of four to six hours. Anterograde amnesia is the loss of the ability to create new memories as well as the inability to recall the recent past, while long-term memories remain intact. TGA also includes disorientation in time and repetitive questioning, as well as anxiety during and after the episode. It's generally preceded by particularly high stress activities or some event that requires exertion. However, scientists are still not exactly sure what directly leads to TGA or have any definitive evidence on risk factors, as it usually is an isolated incident and doesn't happen more than once or twice in a person's lifetime. One case looks at a 53-year-old woman who suffered an episode while golfing. Here's a loose artistic reenaction. Damn I love golf. This is very fun. Whoa. Oh. No. Madam are you okay? Oh. 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 Oh oh. Who are you? Where am I? Madam. Is this a golf course? Why am I here? I don't even like golf. Madam I will take you to get an MRI scan. Oh. 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 Oh oh oh. Oh ho. It probably isn't exactly what happened. But of course some liberties need to be taken when recreating these events. To address this a little more accurately, we looked at another case of a 65 year old woman who had a similar experience. She had been experiencing memory loss for 8 hours before the examination, being unable to recognize her family members, but within 24 hours the effects had gone away. Her neurological laboratory tests were clean, with no indication of a history that could have led to this episode. She had never experienced epilepsy, stroke, similar past episodes, hypertension, diabetes, or smoking, which only goes to show how random and unexpected these episodes can be. As far as treatments, there really isn't much that can be done other than taking care of the person having the episode and making sure they don't do anything rash while their brain is out of whack, especially since these events are so random and isolated. TGA is not necessarily the most important or pressing issue of our time, but with its causes and mechanisms still unknown, it's one of those things you can't help but wonder about, a sort of unsolved mystery of the mind.